so i will be continuing with our playlist but for that hey everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing extremely well so the problem that we will be solving today is removing the nth node from the end so what is the problem stating it is stating that you'll be given the head of the linked list and you'll also be given a value n you'll have to count n from backwards so if i count it this is the second node you'll have to delete the second node from the end and once you've deleted the three that was pointing to the second node from the end will be pointing to the last node or whatever n minus 1th node and once this is done you will have to return me the head of this particular linked list after modification after deletion so n can be anything what if i give you n as 5 in that case n will like the fifth node from the end will be the head of the linked list right if you delete this this will be the new head of the linked list so you'll have to return me this one so depending on the value of n you'll have to give me an algorithm that does it so if this problem comes up in an interview what is the extreme naive solution that you can think of like what i can think of is okay n is given as 2 i definitely cannot traverse backwards so the first step that i can do is maybe take a variable counter which will count the length of the linked list right and let's take a temporary node or pointer pointing to the head let's start counting counter 1 let's move temp counter 2 let's move temp counter 3 let's move temp counter 4 let's move temp counter 5 let's move temp and it will reach here which is null stop so you stop and you know the value of counter is 5 so the value of count is 5 which is the length of the linked list i've been asked to delete the second last node so do i need to reach this no just ask yourself the answer to that is no why because if i delete this deleting it is easy but the original task is to make sure this is pointing to this because i have to change the links otherwise it doesn't make sense i have to change the links so if i reach here if i reach here how can i change the link of the previous no so technically I need to reach here because if I reach here, then I can straight away change the link and point it, right? So I need to reach the third node. And what is this? Count minus n, five minus two. I've reached the third node. So, so can I say I need to reach the third node, which is count minus n? Correct. So result will be count minus n. we will talk about the edge cases afterwards but as of now understand that the result is count minus 1 okay so what i will do on the next step is i'll again start iterating okay let's start iterating so temporary is at the head and the first thing that i'll do is i'll reduce the resultant by 1 and i'll see if if i've reached that no and the answer is no so i'll move temporary once i've moved it Again, I'll reduce it. Have I reached? The answer is no. Then I'll again move it. Reduce, and the moment you reduce, after that you will check. Is it zero? It is. It is. And if that is zero, this is your node where you want to stop at the previous node to the node that you want to delete. Stopped. What is the job that I have to do? The first job is please make sure. you uh, take any other variable and uh, maybe delete node delete node and say temporary dot next just store it just store it so what i've done is i've stored the delete node to be here just store it why i'll explain you done what is your next job the next job is temporary your next can you point to can you point to temporary is next next so this link will now go and point to this done once you have done this if it is c++ you say free node free this particular node del node if it is java you don't have to free it you do not have to free it what will happen is the moment you do this this will get freed so so it's deleted and this will be your modified linked list once it is modified 
you can return the head of the link test. Now you might be thinking about an edge case. What if n was five? In that case, the node would have been the head of the link list. So there will be a new head. We'll end up returning head dot next. End up returning head dot next. Got it? So this was the brute force. If I have to write down the code, it's gonna be super simple. So time to write down the pseudo code in case you want the C++, Java, Python and JavaScript code for this brute force. It will be given in the description, like the link, there will be an article link. You can go over there and find it out. So what do we need? We need a counter variable. So let's take a counter variable, which is zero. This will keep a count of the length of the link list. Let's take a temporary, which is pointing to the head of the link list. Done. What is the next job? Traverse and count the number of nodes. So let's traverse. So I'll keep traversing till temporary is not equal to null. And I'll do counter plus plus. At the same time, I'll say temporary, temporary next. So we'll go ahead and compute this. Compute it. What is the next job? We need to make sure, hey, if this count is equivalent to whatever, like the n that I've been asked to delete, that means it is the head. It is the head that has been asked to delete. So what I will do is, I'll say the new head is head next. This is my new head and I will be returning this. I will be returning this new head. Now, if you are coding in C++, then please make sure to free the previous head. That is very, very important. This is just for C++ because in Java, there is a garbage collector, which will delete it. Got it? Done. You have freed uh, that space and you have returned the new head. What if this is not the case? In that case, you'll have to move. So again, uh, please assign something as resultant. So what will be the value of resultant? It'll be count minus n. And please reassign temporary to head. Once this is done, let's again start traversing. So you can start traversing like temporary is not equal to null. And what you can do is you can say res minus minus because every time you are at a node, you just produce one. And if you see the resultant is equivalent to zero in case you straight away break. Otherwise you say, hey, temporary can go to the next because I still need, it's not the element that I'm looking for. Done. What is your next job? First thing that you'll do is, which node you want to delete, please keep it. Delete node. So you're standing at temporary. At this point, uh, temporary would be standing here. So just take the next, just take the next. So what I'll do is, I'll take the next, because this is the node that I want to delete. After this, I'll say temporary dot next will be temporary dot next of next. Changed the link. Once you've changed the link, return the head, return the head. And please make sure you free the node. And this is again, just for C++ because in Java, the garbage collector will do its job. So let's talk about the time complexity. Can I say that I'm taking a big O of length of the link list in order to compute the length? Yes, in the first pass. And then I'm traversing length minus n. Because that is what resultant was. If you carefully look at this, length minus n, right? So it's taking another length minus n in order to reach the previous node. Then we are changing the links. So this will be the time complexity. What will be the space complexity? That's a big of one because we are not using any external space. If I ask you about this one, what is the worst case? That's somewhere near about big O of 2 into length y. Imagine if n is given as 1, this will be somewhere near about big of length. Hence, the total time complexity is twice of length, right? And this is the reason the interviewer will ask you to optimize it. So the optimal algorithm's intuition is based on the brute force. Now, what we did during the brute force was we tried reaching the previous node, the node right before the node that was to be deleted. This node was to be deleted. We tried reaching right before that. So this was the previous node, correct? And if you carefully observe, it is like two steps to the end. So can I say this? If I traverse, and if I traverse two steps lesser, 
So technically to traverse the entire linked list, it will take five steps. It will take five steps because it has five nodes. If I traverse two steps lesser, that is if I traverse three steps, I will end up reaching the previous node. And that is what, what I want to do. I want to reach the previous node. Now you'll be asking, hey, if I don't know five, how will I know three? Because five minus two is three. Without knowing five, I cannot. I can actually. What I will do is, I will take a pointer known as fast pointer and I'll move it two steps. So one step, two step. So I have moved it two step. Yes, I moved it two step. Stop there. So I've moved it two step. Okay. The next pointer that I'll take is slow pointer. This time, I'll start moving them simultaneously. Slow and fast. Move them simultaneously by one one. Fast will go here. Slow will go here. Next, again move them simultaneously. Fast will go here and slow will go here. Stop. The moment you reach the last node, stop. Stop. And you will see that the slow is pointing to the previous stop. Yes, you do. Why did that happen? Because initially, you did move two steps. And then you covered the next set of steps. So you are technically standing at the previous node. Now, if you're standing at the previous node, what is your next job? I think you know what to do now. It's the same, right? So what I will do is I'll try to write down the pseudocode now. So I'll be writing down the pseudocode in case you want the C++, Java, Python and JavaScript codes. There is an article link in the description. Open it and you'll find all the codes. What is the first thing we'll do? We will take a fast pointer for sure. And we will point it to the head. And we'll move it n steps. That is two steps over here. So for loop of i equal to 0 till n. And please move it. Fast equal to fast of next. Done. Once you've done this, what will happen? Fast will be standing here. After this, take slow, I'll point it to head. And you know you'll stop when the fast reaches the last. This is when you stop because the slow will be here. So let's do it. You basically say, hey, while I reach the last node, which is fast of next is not null. Otherwise, I'll keep moving. And I'll be like, hey, can you move slow equal to slow dot next? And can you move fast equal to fast dot next? Perfect. Once you have done this, what is your next job? The next job is to make sure that you take this del node that you have to delete. So del node, just store it somewhere. Again, just for C++, slow of next. Once you have done this, free it. Or rather, don't free it because... So after the step, do not free it. Why? Because if you try to free it, what will happen is this link will go off and you'll not be able to get this one. So do not free it now. What you'll do is you'll say slow dot next equal to slow dot next and next. So what this will do is this will now point it. Once you have done this, you are free to free it. Free deletion of node. This one is freed and then you can straight away return the head. So you'll be returning this particular head. Now this will work for all the cases apart from whenever n is 5. Imagine I give you n is 5. Let's try to do it. So if n is 5, let's see what happens. If n is 5, I'll take the first pointer here. One step, two step, three step, four step, five step. So if it reaches null, if it reaches null, then you'll have to write something else. So make sure you enter it over here. If you reach null, that means you've been asked to delete head. So again, repeat the same process that we have done in the brute force. Delete the head and return head dot next. So if this is the condition, what you'll do is return the new head, which is head dot next. So it basically goes as return head dot next. I'm not freeing the node. You can free that yourself. I assume you can do it now. So please make sure you return head dot next in case your fast is reaching now. This will be the edge case. So let's quickly get back into the code editor. What I've done is I've written the exact same code. I'll hit the submit button and it will be submitted. Please make sure 
that you take the deletion like this delete node that you have to delete and delete it after the pointer step not before not before got it so let's get back to the ipad and discuss the time complexity what will be it can i say it is b go of length y we have two loops one is the for the other one is the while and both of them have the fast pointer which is moving if i have to analyze can i say that the fast pointer was here and then it moved till here for the first for loop then it took some more steps and moved till the last so eventually if i can compute how much did the fast pointer move overall that will be my time complexity can i say it moved from here to here which is the length of the linked list thereby the time complexity is b go of length what about the space complexity that is b go of 1 yes because we are not using any external space so if you are still watching i'm sure you have understood everything and if that is the case please do comment understood and uh, please do consider giving us a like and if you are new to our channel what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button right away and uh, with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's see in some other video till then bye bye take care